Jesus gave his family, the church, the mandate to go into all the nations and make disciples, principally by preaching the good news. We do this and we become evangelizing communities by first of all going forth, not staying where it's comfortable, but going out to meet people, especially where they're at, because there are many people in our world who are hurting or are far from the church. The Pope says that it's good for us to go forth, to seek these people out the way Christ the Good Shepherd did, not to just sit back. Uh, and wait for them to come to us. So one characteristic of a, an evangelizing community is that it is missionary. We have to be missionaries. A second characteristic of an evangelizing community is that it seizes the initiative. It's a community that goes out and seeks those in the highways and byways to bring them good news. In a way, to, to seek the initiative means to be creative. In the business world, you try to be an entrepreneur. Here in the church, we want to be spiritual entrepreneurs, thinking about new and creative ways of bringing the good news of salvation to others. A third characteristic of an evangelizing community is that it is engaged with its members. The Pope uses this word, balconear, to describe uh, someone who's standing on a balcony, criticizing what's happening, but never getting involved. The Pope proposes that Jesus and the disciples of Jesus are the exact opposite type of person. Jesus washed his disciples' feet. He ate with sinners and tax collectors. He was unafraid to touch lepers. And so we have to be a community of believers that is engaged with our own, but also engaged with those who do not yet believe in Christ. A fourth characteristic of an evangelizing community is that it accompanies others. Sometimes the Pope, in speaking to bishops, talks about the bishop walking ahead of the people, leading them, sometimes being in the midst of them, listening to their joys and sorrows, sometimes walking behind them to make sure that no one gets left behind. And so we as a church, though, are on the road together, accompanying those in their various states of their faith journey. Finally, an evangelizing community is a community that is fruitful. Ultimately, we want to bear fruit unto eternal life, fruit that lasts. But sometimes it takes a while for the fruit to grow. Sometimes it takes a while to discern between the weeds and wheat. And so we must be patient, yet with the end goal in mind, to bear fruit that will last, the fruit that comes from knowing Jesus Christ, His church, and the gospel.